Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, since I haven't done a PMR446 uh, radio review for Motorola for a while, I thought today I'm gonna check out these blue Motorola, talk about T62s. And uh, yeah, I mean, you see they have a kilometer range, so uh, I can later translate this into miles and uh, feet and so on. So this is a metric system because we are in Europe and we're gonna test uh, the range of these uh, things in part number three. And right now you're watching the introductory part. So basically what I'm just gonna do, quickly remind you that these PMR446 radios are A for Europe and B, they have a relatively low output power of 0.5 watts. So if you're located in the States, of course you're welcome to watch this as well, but uh, for you, GMRS or FMRS would be more what you're probably looking for. In any case, I'm quickly gonna unbox these T62s and show you a few close-up shots of the radio, charge them up, and then we are already ready for the range test. And PMR446, uh, we have 16 channels. And uh, yeah, range-wise, while on the package, it says eight kilometers range. Guys, I'm not sure what kilometers are in miles. Maybe I can show this in a side card over here. So now you know what eight kilometers are in miles and vice versa but usually you only get this uh, range that the manufacturer state on the package under ideal circumstances. So if you have no obstructions, let's say you have lots of open pastures, then you get a very high range, but because of the low output power, if you're somewhere running around in the city or somewhere where there's a dense forest, then that really quickly eats up your range. And that's why in part three, the range test, I always go exactly the same way. So the only variant is uh, maybe the weather or whether it's uh, spring or winter time. And without further ado, uh, maybe just a quick reminder, if you head over to my channel page, I showed this to you here, then you can also compare these Motorola talkabouts uh, against maybe the predecessors, the TFKR series or radios from other manufacturers. So I invite you to check out uh, my channel page as well in the radio section. So without further ado, let's jump uh, into the unboxing. Awesome, you're here. Let's get rolling, guys. Now, guys, let's have a closer look at the Motorola talk about T62 uh, walkie-talkies. And uh, as you can see, the package, we just quickly gonna open it up and then I'm gonna pull these radios out. I don't wanna draw this um, test, range test slash review out for too long. Um, first we find the manual and then these stickers, usually you can put them here onto the bottom of the radio and maybe give it a name or you see uh, they have some sort of symbol. So basically that way you can name them the radio A, B, C or the, write the name of the person. Uh, so everybody uh, knows which radio is whose and uh, that way you nicely stay organized. Uh, maybe if you later want to supplement it or, or uh, add some additional radios onto those. So let's quickly open the back cover. Um, guys, uh, like I told you earlier, I reviewed a bunch of Motorola radios before. The talk about range, basically uh, those are the newer types. So in the past we had the Motorola TL, KR range, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, so if you see TLKR, uh, it should be the older models, and then the newer models are the talk about range. So these two, it's easy to distinguish, but actually it's kind of quite interesting to see. I saw some of the uh, older generation models, um, at least the more pricier ones, they had like this uh, rubberized surface that made it kind of non-slippery. But uh, when I was uh, studying uh, at the business school in Asia, uh, like one word that uh, went around a lot in the classroom was like cost to cut, so meaning cutting the cost. And uh, so I leave the judgment up to you uh, which radios have cut costs. But I imagine if you, let's say you just take this back part, I digress a little bit here guys, and you wanna have like some rubberized inlay at the back, obviously in the manufacturing process, uh, if you just have this plastic bag, it's probably faster to manufacture. So uh, what I'm guessing is what every business does is if you bring out a new range of radios, um, you make some improvements in the manufacturing process so that you can just uh, churn out more radios in a given factory faster, thereby increasing production efficiency. And uh, yeah, that makes you more competitive because if there's a lot of competition in the market, you can just lower your prices, still make the same kind of profit and pass it on to the consumer, or you don't pass it on and you just keep it for yourself. So that's how markets usually work. But I digress. This is not about business administration kind of stuff. 
uh, probably most people are just bored by it anyway. Uh, but I like looking at the numbers sometimes and uh, that's what I remember from business school. So let's quickly put in the batteries and then get going with the range test. I mean, those are 800 milliamp hour batteries, so it's kind of nice, uh, these mid-range uh, talkabouts. Uh, I consider them, in my opinion, mid-range uh, Motorola's. They come with a battery. If you have the real budget ones, they might not even have the batteries, they might not even have the charger, so you might want to pay attention to that. If you plan to use them regularly, it's nice to have the battery and charger, uh, charger included. Let's put it back on the cover, always uh, pay attention to the flap. And uh, yeah, there are also some uh, charging contacts at the back. So maybe, uh, I, I've, honestly, I've never seen a charging dock for those, but uh, I guess there may be, there may be, maybe there is some, because why would Motorola put these charging points? Maybe they're gonna release an accessory for that as well. But uh, yeah, let's quickly turn them on. Uh, push the on button. And you see here a green backlit display. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you just push up and down to increase the volume and it can get pretty loud. Confirm with the push to talk. And then uh, to go into the menu and change the channel, you push menu and then, okay, you just have to uh, hold it until it blinks. I, I think I had some uh, lock, fe lock feature activated or something like that. So now you can change the channel. Uh, only thing I noticed, it seems to only have eight while on the package, uh, it clearly stated 16. So uh, I'm quick, what I'm gonna do before I play around uh, with these radios uh, too much, obviously the batteries haven't been charged yet, so I don't wanna put a strain on them. Uh, maybe lower the volume a little bit because it was pretty loud. So I'm gonna quickly turn this off and charge them up. Uh, look in the manual again for the channels. Maybe I can find something there uh, and then we should be ready for the range test. Now guys, I prepared the charging bench uh, here for the Motorola T62. And uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, connected this, so let's quickly power this on. Let's have a closer look at the charging indicator. There for a second was the green backlight, but quickly put this back into focus. You see it's already charging up right here. And uh, I st looked at the manual and um, what I found uh, written there is that Yes, these radios have 16 channels. However, you have to activate it with a key combination simply because the talk about uh, T62 supposedly are also sold in countries where currently you only allowed to use the eight channels. So just to be safe, uh, Motorola put them on eight channels uh, from the factory. And I'm quickly gonna show you how you can activate all these 16 channels. So you just push the menu button and you can see, and now you can change the channel and then you just quickly push plus and minus at once. And now the 16 channels are activated. So let's quickly flip through the menu. And as you can see here, all 16 channels are there. So very nice, very easy to do. Just push the menu button until the channel uh, change indicator starts to flash and then plus minus at once and you are ready to go. Uh, one last thing, uh, which I forgot to show earlier, is the butt clip. Uh, looks also really nice, a little bit sturdier than uh, uh, sometimes you have these like really uh, budget radios from uh, Asia, uh, from other manufacturers. The belt clips seem a little bit weak, uh, but that looks pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna stress it too much right now, but uh, let's connect the second radio, charge those up, and then we are ready for the range test. So far, a really good impression of these radios, and uh, yeah, I'll let them charge overnight, and then we can go outside tomorrow and do the range test. So for you, it will be instant. So let's jump to part three and check how the sound quality uh, performs uh, clarity-wise uh, the further I go away. Let's get rolling with the range test, guys. So guys, range test, range test of the Motorola talk about radio. Test point number one, uh, and guys, there are construction cars everywhere. It's kind of noisy. So test point number one, 420 feet, should be still uh, good quality. Test point number one. So guys, reach test, reach test of the Motorola talk about, the blue Motorola talk about radios. Test point number two with 790 feet, 790 feet and should be still a really good quality. Test point number two. Reach test, reach test guys of the blue 
Yahoo Motorola and I already reached test point number three and we have really like this awesome spring day, really nice to go outside, I'm loving this very much uh, and we have uh, 1,250 feet and uh, you should also see the metric values in the side card if you're using the metric system. Test point number three with 1,250 feet approximately of the blue Motorola. Range test, range test of the blue Motorola. This time at test point number four with 1,540 feet of distance, and that should be still a pretty good quality. Uh, let's uh, move on. Test point number four with 1,540 feet. Range test, range test uh, again. Test point number five of the Motorola PMR radios uh, slash walkie-talkies with now 2,000 feet of distance, 2,000 feet of distance, test point number 5, and it should be still loud and clear, test point number 5. Uh, range test, range test of these are Motorola two-way radios, test point number 6, with 2,300 feet, and guys, these uh, PMR radios only have 0.5 watts upper power, so uh, some cheaper models, the quality starts to deteriorate eventually, but the Motorola have usually a good clarity. Test point number six with 2,300 feet. Guys, range test, range test. At this time at test point number seven, I'm really curious to see how the quality of these motor Motorola radios is, these mid-range ones. Test point number seven with uh, 2,600 feet, 2,600 feet, or approximately half a mile. Test point number seven. Now guys, range test, range test of these uh, tiny low power PMR radios. Test point number 8 with 3,200 feet, 3,200 feet for 0.6 miles I believe approximately. Guys, you always should see the metric value in the side card, which should be about a kilometer. And guys, really nice spring day, the birds are chirping in the trees, so uh, I'm enjoying this. So let's uh, walk a little bit further. Range test, the range test guys of the Motorola PMR radios, this time at test point number 9 with about 3,900 feet or 0 0.75, 3 quarters of a mile, that's what I wanted to say, 3 quarters of a mile approximately, or 1.2 kilometers if you're on the metric system guys. So let's see how these perform, usually uh, budget radios, sometimes cheaper ones, the quality starts to deteriorate uh, from now on. So test point number nine with uh, three quarters of a mile, guys. Range test, range test, guys, of these blue Motorola's. This time at test point number 10, test point number 10 with 4,900 feet, 4,900 feet, or I think 0 0.9 miles. Uh, I think in kilometers it should be 1.5. Uh, I'm really curious to see how the, if you still hear me and how the quality is, the clarity of the signal. So let's go a little bit further and see whether the camera still captures us. So test point number 10 with 4,900 feet or almost a mile. So guys, last range test point, last range test point. Test point number 11 with 1.15 miles. So a little bit over a mile. Test point 11. This concludes the range test of these Motorola radios. Awesome guys, this concludes the range test and review of the Motorola Talkabout T62 in blue and from all I can see I'm very happy with these radios because yes for PMR446 uh, that kind of range uh, that I got on my uh, usual walk is pretty okay, uh, quite decent and what I particularly liked about the T62s is that the sound quality stayed uh, was really nice. The sound quality stayed pretty stable, and uh, overall, I like the design uh, of these radios, and they also fit uh, good in, into my hand. So they have exactly the perfect size. I can push the top, uh, push the talk button right here. And to be quite honest, uh, some other radios that I tested in the past, uh, sometimes uh, there you come across these radios that are just a little bit too tiny. Uh, then your thumb is always at the antenna or something like this. So I don't like these very small radios. I don't like these super big radios. Um, those have the perfect size. Uh, and also some other models that I tested just recently. I don't want to name names. But uh, maybe at the distance 0.6, so at half the distance, 
uh, the signal had a little bit static in there and it was kind of choppy, the quality wasn't that good. But with the Motorola's, uh, you, obviously you have to pay a little bit more, but uh, the quality is really, they seem to be using better components, speaker, microphone wise, and the internals. So uh, guys, I also showed you how to switch from eight channels to 16 by using this uh, key combination. This is important if your country allows 16 channels, make sure to enable these 16 uh, channels. And otherwise, this kind of concludes the test of these radios. Uh, from what it looks like at the top, there seems to be also a headset connector for 2.5 uh, millimeter uh, headset. Uh, sometimes you can uh, plug security headsets or something like this in there. So that might be useful. Some people like that. Belt clip also looked kind of nice and stable. But before I digress any further, guys, again, I invite you to head over to my channel page. I can show this to you here and look in the radio section. There's a separate playlist where there are all my reviews of uh, radios from Motorola, from other manufacturers. So you can uh, do a little bit of a comparison. Also maybe listen to the predecessor version because like I told you earlier, the uh, Motorola TLKR, uh, from what my, it's my understanding, is the previous generation and to talk about is the newly designed generation. So it might be interesting if you're interested in Motorola to compare the uh, old design with the new design now right now you have seen the new design uh, and then uh, guys have I see you as a subscriber on my channel have fun with your new radios and uh, yeah have awesome time take care and guys because you just watched my review of the blue Motorola talk about t62s you might also want to compare them against some other radios such as these red Floreons and uh, I always remind uh, people, if you're in the States, then please don't import the PMR446, but get the FRS uh, radios instead, because PMR446 is for Europe and FRS is for the States, which has also high output power, by the way. Uh, you can subscribe right now. I see you in the next video. All the best to you. Take care.